All right. Now, due to recent, you know, debates and rumors about Gucci Man being cloned, I wanted to touch on the subject of cloning a little bit more. Now, is cloning possible? Absolutely possible. This is something that has been proven with Dolly the Sheep. You guys can Google this, YouTube it. In the 90s, I believe it was, that's when I heard about it. I was in my early teens. Um, shit, that's probably only like eight, nine years old. But I heard about Dolly the Sheep being cloned and it was successful. Um, I remember the news cast uh, or the news clip to this day. It was two sheep side by side and they were identical. Now, what you don't see is the process. That clone didn't get, people think that you go into a machine and boop, a clone that exactly comes out. I think Dolly the sheep gave birth to her own clone. It was. I think that's what happened. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that a clone needs to go through the through the birth process, through you know the fetus and the different stages of birth, and then becoming a air breathing, um, you know, I think yeah, mammal or whatnot, they, into becoming a, a you know real life animal or person. In that case, it takes time. You have to go through that birth process, that growing process, and um, and you get. Um, um, you know, you get, you know, released into the world or, you know, whatever the, the into the laboratory or whatever the case is. Um, it, it has been done in test tubes. Um, test tube babies are being born every day. I believe they still do that. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they still have to go through that birth process and become a full grown, um, you know, baby and then grow into the appropriate age. A uh, person who's 30 and gets cloned, they're not going to get a 30-year-old clone in just a day. From what I understand, is it possible that the cloning project or the cloning um, uh, um, process has evolved and been sped up? Um, maybe, but speeding up that process really doesn't do much for the human race. It really doesn't have no benefit other than replicating a person. Um, and if that's the case, they really need to replicate someone, uh, they would really have to probably start it when they were born so that let's say they're 30 and you want to, um, have a 30 year old clone that would be the same age, you know, whether they're suspended in like one of those water t tanks that you see in like movies and alien predators shit, kind of like space star Wars shit. If you, if you start them when they're the same age and then you have their backup body, um, and you could trans, you know, transfer their thoughts or their conscience into the next body. I mean, th that's the point, you know, right? That I'm getting into is that regardless if you're able to have another 30 year old clone on standby or they could do it in just a day to your appropriate age, it's transferring consciousness. Now, this is the one step that scientists, I believe, have not figured out. And we're probably millions of years from figuring this shit out because it's not something that we can, we can barely, barely measure consciousness in life. We can measure our thoughts. We can measure our thoughts with, you know, mach uh, machines, that, you know, put these pads on our head. And when we have a thought, we fire electrical signal. The machine picks it up and reads it into a wave. Um, we emit these thoughts daily. I'll get into all that in another video, but we're talking about cloning and being able to possibly clone a person. What good is being able to clone a person if the original person no longer exists or ceases to exist, right? The point of cloning someone is to have that person again or, um, you know, or a replacement for that person. If the person doesn't, doesn't, uh, have the intelligence doesn't have the memories or the thoughts of the original person. This is not a this is not a clone. This is just a a physical clone. But in reality, the the characteristics, the the personality, the consciousness, the what makes us unique, what makes the person the person is gone. It's gone. It's gone forever. You know until until we can master or or figure out the missing link. Literally, um, to transfer my conscience into a new body, it just defeats the whole purpose 
uh, memories and experiences make us who we are. You know, yes, DNA does carry information and memories of previous ancestors. Example, elephants. Elephants who are recently born, right? Right? They're, they have the knowledge and they know where to go time on and time in without being taught for sources of water. Um, same thing with fish and different kinds of animals for mating. They all go to this destination. No one tells them to do this, but they do this generation after generation. How do they possess that knowledge in order to do so? And that's what consciousness. Consciousness connects us all, every living thing on earth. And that's something that we can't grab. We just can't grab. And that's the God body. That's God's power. Um, the universe's power. We are nowhere near figuring that out. I mean, if we were to ever be able to figure it out, I estimate we're like probably billions of years behind. You know, we would never be able to take a person's consciousness and put it into another one. You know, and we would never be able to replicate someone's experiences in life. We're accumulation of everything that happened to us. You know, what what how we are today is because of all our yesterdays. You know what I'm trying to say? We can't just replace or take that and put it into someone else. It's impossible. So, yes, they could probably clone me. They could probably clone a celebrity. But can they make that person eternally in a replica, uh, you know, an exact clone? And that's a no, you know. So that's just some thoughts on cloning. Wanted to share what I, you know, what I know on cloning so far. And, you know, it's kind of crazy that this stuff recently came out. And, uh, with the whole rumors of Gucci Man and all that because um, I swear it was not even a few weeks ago that I was looking into cloning and wondering myself what happened to the whole cloning thing did they just stop cloning stuff and and the reason why they stopped I guess doing mainstream cloning or allowing companies to do cloning is because um, not only the money they could possibly make, it's just the disaster looming. You know, it really is. Um, it, it's a lot of false hope in cloning. Um, we're, until we are able to transfer consciousness, memories, and all that. Um, until we're able to do that, um, I highly doubt, you know, we'll be, um, be cloning people anytime soon. You know, I just had a thought, like, what if we could take the brain? I mean, the brain is where everything is held. And that's possible. That's possible. If we can make a new clone and take my brain out and put that brain in, but it's never been known to do a brain transplant ever in human history. And I don't even sure if that would even be successful because of the fact of how I many it's millions of neurons and veins and cells that, that are associated with the brain that would have to be transferred to the new body. And then we're talking some whole Frankenstein shit scenario. And absolutely, is it possible, you know, doing it that way, transferring the brain into the new body? Um, yes, but like I said, that is millions and billions of years from now. From what I understand and what's current in technology today. But anyways, we're going way off in here. Um... Yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos talking about real world shit, shit going on, things that I like. Um, going to be doing more vlogs, giveaways, of course, keep my subscribers happy. I'm going to give y'all some free shit. So comment below if you want some free shit <laughs> or you feel, have any opinion on cloning or anyone believes that cloning is not possible, 100% it's possible. But always bring up the fact of the consciousness, our individual personalities. It's going to be very, very hard to transfer our memories and all of that stuff. So comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.